everybody, this is Atticus, the Death Meddler, and my god, we got a doozy of a topic to talk about. Now for this video, I've basically been looking at the UK for some time, and I'm going to be talking about two incidents that happened in the UK, but it's kind of similar on what the country is going down with the little intro that I had onto the video, which I will get to why shortly. So the first part of this video, I'm going to be talking about what happened not too long ago with Brittany Pettibone, Martin Selner, and of course, Lauren Southern. Now the reason why I am talking about Martin, Brittany, and Lauren is because they were entering the UK. Brittany Pettibone and Martin were there to do some journalist shit, while Lauren was just going around doing a somewhat social experiment into showing pamphlets saying Mohammed is gay, which I'll talk about later. But first, we're going to be talking about how they ended up in trouble. When they entered the UK, basically, automatically, they were detained and put in for questioning. And why is that? It's mostly just due to the fact that Brittany, Martin, and Lauren are all, um, you know, of the right wing. Most essentially, Brittany and Martin, since they're pretty further of the right, especially Martin, who is part of a far-right political movement, while Brittany Pettibone is just a journalist. And they basically question him if they were right-wing terrorists. I am not shitting you. While, yes, a lot of people disagree with what Lauren Southern, Brittany Pettibone, and Martin believe in, they're completely fucking harmless. I mean, Brittany originally was at the UK to do an interview with Tommy Robinson. And again, Tommy Robinson is another person and where basically a lot of people really hate the guy comparing him to the reincarnation of Oswald Mosley. But I've seen a lot of stuff on the contrary onto Tommy Robinson. Agree or disagree to Tommy Robinson, he's actually a really decent fella. And Lauren Southern got in trouble for being a supposed Christian right-wing terrorist with the pamphlets of showing that Mohammed is gay, inciting Islamophobia. And I find that so fucking hilarious. Because the same people that are going around saying, oh, you can't criticize Islam, you Islamophobe, are the same motherfuckers that say, fuck all religion. Yeah, fuck Christianity. Yeah, burn the Bible. Fuck Jesus. Jesus is gay. Those are the same people that go around saying, you know you can't criticize Islam, right? If you are willing to say, fuck all religion, Islam has to fit in that criteria. In my channel, I have criticized both Christianity and Islam. So essentially, they were all detained, questioned, and thus Brittany, Lauren, and Martin had to do their own thing in Austria. To do the interview in Austria. Set up an interview for Tommy Robinson in Austria, which I find very insulting because Austria is more welcoming for Tommy Robinson than his own home country of the UK, which I find ridiculous. And also, UK, you kind of shot yourself in the foot with a shotgun and try, you know, to basically silence these people. The only difference is, is that not only Paul Joseph Watson made a video on this whole situation, but Phil DeFranco as well. And he had to say this as well. Reportedly, that was in response to a Vice article that asked whether Jesus was gay or not. And reportedly, that experiment was conducted to see what kind of reaction this would get. And so if you flip the situation and it was someone trying to get into the UK who, who is very anti-Christianity, who maybe also goes around saying anyone that wants completely shut borders, they're a Nazi. Would that person be barred entry? And also, should that person be barred entry? I think that whenever possible, when we're trying to think about a situation, we, we flip it just to see how we would react. And not to mention, Tucker Carlson talked about this whole situation. So congratulations, you pretty much put a far right wing journalist on up top of a pedestal and made her pretty much more mainstream, gaining a lot more attention and a bigger audience. So, way to go. Way to fucking go. That story alone does not upset me the most. The next topic I'm gonna talk about 
boils my blood so much, pisses me off to such an extent that I just find it ridiculous. And it is the case of Count Dunkula. Now this whole story surrounding Count Dankula is probably one of the, the most absurd shit I have ever seen and heard in my life. My 26 years living on this earth. And to see all this go down and transpire and to go what's currently going on right now, I am just at a loss of words. Now Count Dankula is a Scottish uh, comedian edgelord who got into so much shit for probably one of the most tamest crimes ever. So, like two years ago, he decided to piss off his girlfriend by training his um, ex-girlfriend's pug to basically um, do a Nazi salute and get excited over when he says, gas the Jews. And keep in mind, when you watch the whole video, which I have seen the whole video myself, though it is a pretty dark and offensive joke, it was a joke entirely. And Dan Ken stated, he's not racist, he just wants to post some sh just some dank ass, hilarious, dark humor. But, it ended him up being charged and arrested for a hate crime. I am not shitting you. And Count Dankula was just being accused over the most absurd shit, saying that the video was a Nazi recruiting video and that he was inciting hatred towards Jews when the whole joke was is that Nazis are ugly and stuff. So apparently making jokes on Nazis is illegal and is a hate crime. You know who'd also think that would be a crime in itself? Nazi Germany cuz there were people that made fun of Hitler and the Gestapo kicked in their houses and gave those people making fun of Hitler a boot party so making fun of Nazis is illegal in the UK and just recently Count Dankula was convicted and in April 26 He's gonna be getting his sentence. But Atticus the Death Meddler, why are you getting so worked up at the UK for all this stuff? It won't happen here in America. Uh, it kinda did fucking happen in 2013. You remember Justin Carter, the kid who basically made that one dark and offensive joke where he was going to shoot up a school full of kids and eat their still beating hearts, and thus he was locked in jail for a couple months, getting beat up by inmates on suicide watch, and to celebrate his 19th birthday behind bars, and not to mention five years have passed over this whole ordeal. He's been through fucking house arrest. He had to live with his grandparents and he was excommunicated from his siblings because they thought the dude was a psychopath and stuff. It could happen and it this whole thing with Count Dangula, it's like that all over again. Now don't get me wrong here people. Every one of us has seen dark and offensive jokes. We have all been offended by dark and offensive jokes. And even we have created dark and offensive jokes. The difference is, is how we handle dark and offensive jokes. Do we either laugh about it, get offended and mind our own business, or we go the route on what happened with Count Dankula and Justin Carter. Because there are people that take these offensive jokes way too seriously to the point in where you have them, you have people being locked up. Count Dankula isn't the only victim off of this. You have people in the UK being arrested over tweets. Over tweets. What the fuck? And I honestly feel bad over my friends who live in the UK that have to deal with this stuff. Like... J. Jenny Pendants, Joshua Powell, Beanie Ben, they have to really watch on what they say on social media 
And if they're not careful, they're gonna be, you know, given a lovely visit to the Ministry of Love. And I recently just watched uh, Count Dankula's um, recent video on the whole thing, and in many ways, he's glad that this whole thing is over with. And he said he's gonna have to spend the remainder of his freedom until he finally hears his sentence. And the one thing that I find really amazing about Count Dankula is on how humble he is. He goes, guys, this is not about me. This is about free speech. Because in the end of the day, if I have to be locked up for to prove a point that these, you know, these ridiculous laws are absolutely ridiculous, then I'd do it right away. And I'm like, dude, the guy is humble as fuck. Really. That's all I have to say, and I really admire Count Dankula and how just completely humble the motherfucker is. Because at the end of the day, and I agree with what he says, free speech affects everyone, but it's something that a lot of people have fought and died for. If he's willing to go behind bars for even five years, he's willing to do that for free speech. The UK is more than willing to Detain and deport Brittany Pettibone, Lauren Southern, Martin, and just, and lay out the welcome mat for people like Salman Abedi, the man who did the Manchester bombings last year. The UK is more than willing to basically shut down brand and smear campaign Tommy Robinson, meanwhile giving radical Islamist clerics like Hamza Sodagar a free podium. And the UK is more than willing to basically arrest, convict, and sentence a Scottish edgelord for making a video of a pug doing a Nazi salute while at the same time sweeping a national grooming gang under the rug. Like my god. You know what UK, if you're willing to go that far being politically correct, you shouldn't be called the UK at all whatsoever. You should be called by your politically correct name, Airstrip One. Yes, I am making that reference from 1984. You are basically Airstrip One. Now, it is, now, in many ways, like, the UK is not really that close of being Airstrip One in a way, but it's kind of getting close to the point in where it's almost Orwellian, and that is terrifying. In drawing conclusions, this I got to say. War is peace, freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength. Without further ado, ladies and gents, I am Atticus, the Death Meddler. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Links are in the description below. Keep a medal, and of course, Big Brother's always watching you. Have an excellent day, folks. If you'll excuse me, I will be drinking and getting myself ready for Watain later on. Cheers.